All right, guys, so we are back with another video on how to make a resource pack. This is episode two in the series. Uh, this one's going to be covering the folder structure of the resource pack. So basically just going through what all the folders are, what they do, and what's in each folder. Uh, if you haven't seen episode one, uh, I suggest you would watch that video because it shows you how we got to this point where we have the demo pack and inside we have the assets, which we grabbed from the current Minecraft version. The pack.png, which is just a picture to represent your pack. And the pack.mcmeta, which is just a file that activates your pack. Okay, let's get into the assets folder and I'll show you uh, what's inside. Okay, so let's get inside here. So we got the assets folder inside that we have Minecraft. And inside that we have a bunch of other folders here. So now right off the bat, a couple of these we do not need and that's going to be loot tables. So we'll get rid of that and these structures. Now, uh, those folders aren't going to affect the resource pack. The resource pack can actually access anything in those folders and edit any of them. So uh, I suggest just getting rid of them to declutter your resource pack. You can leave them in if you want, but nothing will change uh, with those folders. Those have to be edited with the uh, game files. So uh, as you can see on the left hand side there, I've whipped together a little image to help you follow along with the video and be able to see where I am uh, at any point in the video. And you'll notice maybe on the image, there's a couple extra folders. One of them being a folder with the name MC Patcher. The other one is called Sounds. Now these folders uh, can be added to your resource pack to edit a couple different things, which we'll uh, get to later. So let's start off with the block stats folder. So let's hop inside here. So in this folder, you'll see there's a bunch of .json files. Now these files basically display data for each block. So if we pop one open here, the acacia door, uh, we pull it over, you can see a bunch of kind of written code here, uh, which tells the game what to do with the acacia door. And you can edit these and as a result, things will change in the game. Now we'll get into these in a later tutorial on how to edit and what to do with all these, but basically that's what these block stats are for. And they're for creating things such as custom models and various other things like that. We'll head back out here. You see the next folder is font inside just one thing here. Basically this is where you're going to need this folder to install some custom fonts, which we'll get to in a later tutorial as well. Next down the list is Lang, which is short for language. So let's hop inside. You'll see we have EN US Lang. So this is the uh, English US is what that stands for. Lang is language. So you can come in here and edit these files. If we open this up with text edit here and actually change everything that the game shows for text. So basically, on basically the first opening screen, you can change the done button. See there it says done, cancel back. Anyways, we'll get into this in a later tutorial. That's what the Lang folder is. Now we get to MC Patcher. Now in this folder, it's empty because I just created it. In a later tutorial, I'm gonna show you a bunch of things you can add into that MC Patcher folder. This folder can only be edited, I mean, can only be displayed with Optifine or MC Patcher installed, and those are mods. So if you include this folder in your pack with files inside, if whoever uses your pack or you um, has Optifine installed, then these special kind of graphical things will display there. And if they don't have Optifine installed and they install your pack, nothing's gonna change, just nothing will show that's within this folder here. And in this folder, you can get things like connected textures, such as like connected glass, um, what they call CIT items, which are basically, you can uh, set the item texture to change based on data from the item, which we'll get into in a later tutorial. And uh, a bunch of other things like custom skies and various other things. But uh, I'm gonna cover that all in a later video because yeah, so stay tuned for that or maybe the links on the screen if I've already made that video. 
All right, so next down the list, we have models. Let's hop inside here. You'll see there's two subfolders in models. We have block and item. So we head inside a block here. Once again, a bunch of JSON files. Now these are gonna be all the blocks in Minecraft. So uh, basically, let's open one up here. We'll just do the first one again. Um, and you'll see just some more written code, basically telling the game what textures to apply to which block and everything like that. Once again, these are gonna come into play when you wanna edit certain models and other things like multiple textures per block and things like that, which we're gonna cover in later videos. This is just, once again, a general overview. An item, if we head inside, same kind of thing. We'll open one up here. You'll see just telling the game, you know, to display what texture to display for the acacia boat item. So we'll head back out here. Shaders. Now this is a folder which I read on the wiki that it actually can change things in the game. So I'm not 100% sure about what. So if any of you guys know, I'm open to, uh, you know, the info and maybe I'll make a video so we can share it to the world. But basically inside this folder contains some shader data, which I believe are from an old version of Minecraft which um, used to have a button called super secret settings and it would uh, basically, you would click it a bunch of times and it would kind of apply different shader effects to your game. And these, the only reason I think that is because all these names remind me of ones that kind of used to display. So anyways, that's the shaders folder. You could delete it if there is no use you find for it, if it's causing confusion in your pack. The only reason I left it in here is because on the wiki, it does say it can change things in the game. Now, I'm not sure what that is yet, so maybe I'll find that out and make a video. Or if one of you guys know, once again, please let me know, because I'd love to know. Next, the sounds folder, which I created, so it's empty. And basically, you have to go and actually find the sound files in a different way in order to edit those, uh, which once again, we'll cover later on. Next, we have texts. In here, there's three text documents, credits, end, and splashes. Both these two display only when you finish the game, I believe, or maybe there's a button to view the credits from the menus. And the splashes are the little yellow bouncy texts on the main menu. And you can just open those and edit those right there. Last folder here is textures. It's probably one of the most important ones. Uh, and inside, there's a bunch more subfolders. I'm not gonna go through these all, but basically in all these are the various textures or PNG image files which the game grabs to display in your world when you're actually playing the game. So in blocks, you're gonna have all the block uh, pictures. And color map, this is a bit of a color map and I'm gonna go through this once again. Later on, just wanna give you a taste in case you don't wanna Spend a bunch of time on all the in-depth tutorials. You can just get a little taste and kind of experiment for yourself here. But in here are all the textures for the game. You know, the paintings are going to be here. Uh, and they label them all nicely for you. Um, items. And so to edit any textures in the game, you just come in here and you just color on them with that image editing program. And they'll display differently in the game. Alright, so that basically covers all the folders. So I hope that gives you a general idea of the assets folder and maybe you can do some experimenting. If you'd like in-depth tutorials on what you can do with each one of these things in the, in the uh, resource pack, just uh, hang tight if they're not out already or maybe they're out already and just check those out in the playlist. I uh, hope this video helped. My goal with the series is hopefully to get people who maybe wouldn't make a resource pack be able to make a resource pack pretty easy because I think uh, resource packs are one of my favorite things because they're vanilla and they edit the game and make it more enjoyable. You know, you don't have to edit it too much either. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the series so far and enjoyed that video and it was helpful. Uh, yeah, that's it.